Hello and welcome back to another Minecraft inspiration video. Today we're going to be looking at this brickmaker furnace right in front of us as well as later on we'll be checking out a potter's kiln because those two kind of go pretty hand in hand. Um, so here with the brickmaker's furnace you can see how these work is you create a pressurized chamber that only allows a little bit of air to escape at one time so that it doesn't go boom and explode on you. But pretty much what it is, is you put clay molds inside. You can see in here, you got the bricks in there and the smoke and all the hot coals. And that, we're just kind of using that to represent how you would heat up bricks. All the hot coals are heating up the area. Uh, you would bring this latch down to cover it. And then you'll notice around here, back behind, there's, these, there's this little hole right there that's only a quarter of a block, really, that... Um, uh, allows a tiny tiny bit of the heat to escape so as I was saying before so it doesn't explode so back here looking at the front of the furnace we can see it's just a general work area we got this pulley system set up here for raising and lowering the hatch pretty much pull down on the hook you pull down on the rope and bring the hatch up and then probably attach somewhere I guess I forgot to put that in but yeah you can put a little lever like maybe Right there on the side of that guy. Now ah, let's see how that looks. Let's go to redstone and then we'll grab our little lever. I guess that ah, it doesn't really fit. We'll leave it there for now though. Anyways, so yeah, that's you'd want to attach somewhere, so I guess something like that could work out. Get maybe get it to look a little bit more connected. I don't know, I'll work on that later. Um yeah, so that's how that mechanism works. And beyond that, you guys, you can see here at the front, we got this pretty, pretty basic and like tool station outside, I'd call it a little workstation. So you got a shovel here, you got a hammer here, and you got some tools over here. All these could be used for either the hammer for forcing the bricks back into their mold, the shovel for pulling things out or putting things in there, like the clay, and the t just this depth, uh, this general tool rack right here like the pitchfork and all that kind of stuff commonly they're used as farming tools but i'm sure there'd be a way you can make use of them in here and we didn't really have any access to anything else that would be more useful um, for a potter's kiln so i figured i'd throw that in there because we're working with what we got here in minecraft yeah all right so now we're over here at the potter's kiln uh you'll notice that this is a very very similar build to the brick maker that we were just looking at um, as the potter's kiln, it's working with clay still, so it's using pressure to force the clay into its mold. This one's made out of bricks here just because we want to change it up, make it a little bit more distinct and unique. Um, so how the interior of this guy works is you'll notice that the, all those pots there in the back of it are raised up above the bottom uh, over these glass panes. Below the glass panes, there's going to be a bunch of hot coals that we can't quite see here because of the angle. But trust me, guys, they're there. Those are used to heat up the area and force the clay pots into their mold like we are talking about back with the bricks. This guy, however, he doesn't have a opening anywhere for pressure to escape. As you can see, as we just do a little lap around here, which with that, you'd kind of want to leave this hatch open the whole time. So that's why we have it up here so that the thing doesn't explode. And then outside of that, we have, we're working on a really small space here. You can see that right there. So we didn't do a whole lot. Um, but yeah, so you can see that we just got a general workstation right here with a little shovel and we got some finished pots there in the back. And that's pretty much it for this little potter station or the potter's kiln. With that guys, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you did as always um i'll put a link down to my twitter in the description below you guys can follow for more updates over there i post on there pretty regularly um on top of that thank you for stopping by and have a good one